everyone. I'm on a Pokemon roll right now. And next I'm going to teach you how to draw Bulbasaur. Bulba, Bulbasaur, Bulba, Bulba. Boy, I, hope, I just sound like a good impersonation. So Bulbasaur is next. Now I'm going to teach you the same way I just did the Charmander one. I'm going to use a B pencil and I'm just going to sketch out the shapes first, make it look sketchy, and then go over it with the line. But, uh, much like the same way, and I'm using a reference photo again, and I found a real simple one. I don't want to make it too complicated. But ultimately, start with the, I'd start with the head shape, because it's a big part of it, and it's, it takes up the majority of the body. So just start with this shape. Kind of comes in and get the head, and it's almost like flat up here. I'm just slightly sketching it, getting my shapes in. Let's start with this kind of shape, and like I said, I just don't know why. I just feel in a sketchy mood tonight. Normally, I draw more of a finished body first, but tonight I. I like doing a little sketchy something different. So basically start with this real simple shape. This is going to be the head and you have an ear here. The ear juts out. Much like kind of Jigglypuff's ear. Then another ear here. And you know, real, then this line. And notice how small the body is. Uh, I'm just going to make from the, kind of the chin point. Make this little oval shape. It looks weird now, but make this almost looks like a nose or something, but that's going to be the the major body. Like I said, it looks weird, but it'll come together. And then right here under the head, make another shape. And a big thing about drawing is notice I'm not really calling them names right now. I'm calling them shapes. And that's a big thing. Once you start to wrap your mind around this new concept of forms, rather than calling something a name, you'll be in, you'll be so shocked at how much better you'll start to draw and also how much better you will feel confident wise and just drawn in general. And the reason is because when you start applying names to something, this is if you have the time, check out the book Drawn on the Right Side of the Brain. Uh, but long story short, when you start to apply names to something Mentally, automatically can either be good or bad. Like for example, when I say, okay, I'm going to draw a hand, right away people start to tense up, they cringe, and it's like, oh no, not drawing a hand, because it's so hard. But that's the mental block. This is what's awesome about drawing is, rather than seeing it as a hand, you can say, just do what I just did here, just break it down into shapes, and just, rather than saying, okay, I'm going to draw the arm here, I said, I'm just going to draw this little shape coming down, and so it's kind of, it really is, that's why I love drawing. So it's a huge mental game. It's all about changing your mind, your perspective. It's, I, I love drawing. It's amazing to me. And so now you've got these basic shapes, the body here. Then you'll see a little part of the foot back here. The bulb on top will make it pretty big. The bulb is not as big. It's kind of a little bigger than the whole body, but it just comes down, arches, curves, and goes up. And it's got these little things at the end. I'm just sketching up. And then for here, same thing comes down. Oh, man. Bulbasaur is awesome. I love drawing these Pokemons. Pokemons. So you got that. So for the eye, one eye is here. Like I said, every once in a while I like to change it up. I like to use a different pencil. I just... That's what crazy. That's what I love about John. I love John. I keep saying it. That's what I love about John is I'm constantly changing. One day, it's it's really like my personality and just like living in general. Your mood changes from day to day. And for me, I'm always finding a new pencil or a new type of way to draw. It's just constantly learning. It's amazing. So two little nose right here. Notice how the nose kind of curves down. And the mouth. The mouth is a big shape. It curves down. You got two teeth. Let's take the mechanical pencil now and really define things. Uh, I 
I'm gonna just change something here real quick. So I'm just gonna make these crisp lines. So now that you got the basic shapes, this line is gonna go all the way down. And don't worry about getting it perfect, but it goes all the way down and then uh, comes up here. Like that. Then the front just comes up. You can curve it up a little. It'll be kind of artistic with the curves and different things. Then the ear shape. Let me just check it's on the camera still. Oh, good. Thank goodness. Let me raise it here. Sorry about that. So then, like this. A little shape there. I'm gonna. That should be good right there. So just continue drawing these shapes. You got this ear. So for the eye, it just comes down. I'm trying to make crisp lines. Now there, they got the one eye here. And same on this side. Just follow these lines now that you got the sketch done. I try to draw very slow so everyone can follow along. That's what's really cool. That's what. That's really what I'm trying to do. You know, that's unique about my channel. I'm trying to make sure I never draw too fast. You know, that way people can follow along. Notice how you want the highlights to be exactly the same in terms of the curve of them. Just shade in the eye last to the nose. And for the mouth shape. Two teeth. And a tongue in the back. There we go. And for the rest, let's just outline the body real quick. I'm going to go a little quicker. I'm going to make the lines a little thicker. So just for that. And the way the toes connect, those little claw things, there's three. But they don't really end in a point. They end like, that's important, whereas Charmander's end in a point. These are kind of like jelly bean tips. Every once in a while you have a sharper one. That's important. And then it comes up like that. Now I'm, oh, now I'm getting the groove. I'm getting the drawing groove. And another line here, same thing, uh, same little claw shapes. And remember, these are coming out towards you, so look at the, see how these are kind of going that way? These, notice how they're, they're coming towards you, so they have a different shape. That's very important. Every little subtle detail can absolutely change the perspective. It can change the way it looks, so it's really a constant effort of getting that. Then same with this one. Just like that. Just like that. And there you go. You got the basic body. Then you put this little leg in the back. I just say a little bit of it. But, oh, yeah, no, it took it cool. And for the bulb shape. Have fun doing the bulb shape because you know it's like a leaf, so make it look sketchier. I like to make it look a little extra sketch here. And two here, and then another one that joins up. This comes up here. Like that, and that just comes down. There you go. Then this one here. And you can see it looks very messy right now. That's just because of the guidelines we used. You know, once you clean it up, it'll look a lot better. But there's the basic forms we got now. So let's just finish this up here and we'll call it home. We'll call it another finished drawing you can add to your collection. So today you can have Jigglypuff, Charmander, and Bulbasaur, all for the price of $2.57.
Bonus bar, bonus bag. To get all these Pokemons you can draw. Oh, I got a question for everyone. It's question time. I've been doing this in my videos. Which Pokemon did you start with? When you play Pokemon Blue or Red, which Pokemon did you start with? I started with... I think I started with Charmander, I think. Actually, I can't remember. Crap, I can't remember now. This is driving me nuts. So you just draw all these. I think I started with Charmander because he was the... He was just awesome. Who You know, you get to play with fire and stuff. Well, please let me know in the comments who... What Pokemon did you start with? Are you a turtle? Are you a squid? Are you a jiggly buff? Then we'll finally finish up here. Last but not least, you got a shape here. Don't worry if you get the shapes a little off. Just get them in the right spot. Then a shape here. What kind of Pokemon are you? The way you do the things you do. Are you a squitter? Are you a Charmander? What kind of Pokemon are you? Then you got one here. And just rest the shapes, you know, just kind of look at where the shapes are. Got a shape here. One on the arm here. I don't know how in the world people would remember these shapes. Like, it's like freaking drawing a map of the entire world. And you have to remember each little continent exact shape. And you got one here. Just do these little shapes and there you go everyone. The last one at least shading the eyes. Make sure they're dark and then go back. Uh, any other dark areas. But definitely shade in the eyes. It'll make it pop out. Like that and then inside the mouth you want to shade in. Yeah, I hope you like these videos, everyone. I, I don't know, like I said, I just felt a real different way to draw today. I just felt like drawing things a little sketchier and doing it a different way. And, but that's, like I keep saying, that's the best part about drawing. You're constantly doing it different ways. and I'm Just shading that in. And he, and basically... Shade all these little speck parts in. And you can go back and uh, shade the entire thing because it'll be dark. Or you can just shade the the bulb on the back. But basically that's it. And just want to thank everyone for watching again. I can't thank all the new subscribers and people. It's been great. and really means a lot. Thank you everyone. More drawn videos to come.